is Mel Bundock here. Hope you're all well, having a great day wherever you are. And um, I'm just out at a friend's house at the moment and just having a coffee and a chat and catch up. And um, these two ladies who I'll introduce you to in a moment are good friends of mine, um, but they started off kind of as clients as well. And they both came to my very first vision board workshop gosh, I think it was about four years ago now, that this vision board workshop was in the living room of my house. There was just a handful of us, and I didn't really know what I was doing at the time, but I introduced the concept of vision boards, and this was where my first workshop was born. So this is just live from my friend Ren's house, and she's got her son here, so um, that's her. he's just talking in the background. That's absolutely fine. And Ren's just saying, oh, no, 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 but... Um, this is live, so it's fine. So I just wanted to, so in our, my catch up with Ren and Lisa this morning, we haven't seen each other for a while now, so I just wanted to catch up on what's going on in their lives and what's happening. And you know what, I've just been blown away by their stories this morning and how a lot of it has kind of, were born through on the vision boards that they made when they came on my workshops. And it just really shows to me the power of a vision board and how when you plant the seeds for what you want to manifest, even when at the time when you do it, you can't see how it's going to happen. It's just incredible how, you know, they are heading very close to their destinations of where they want to go. So I just want to show you their vision boards very quickly. Now I'll start off with, um, I start off with Lisa, um, and you may have seen Lisa on scopes and um, and and Periscope and face her own Facebook lives. But Lisa, um, her vision boards have always been about. Um, anyway, let me hand you over to Lisa quickly. Lisa, tell us what your vision boards have been about. Hello, I'm not uh, streaming from my bush today. I'm streaming from Ren's bush. Um, yeah, we were just looking back on our vision boards and just thinking, that's amazing. Even Ren and I had sort of forgotten how much that we really wanted what was on our vision boards and how much of it has sort of come to fruition. So do you want me to show mine? Yeah, please do. Okay, let's see how this looks. Turn it round. Yeah, it's going to be very black because um, we're against the window. My glamorous assistant <laughs> will model it for me. But mine was all about health um, and embracing getting older so you know as I was turning um, 50 and feeling a bit like mumsy um, I wanted to be inspired to have you know good health and um, happy in my own skin and the story there is that you know I've seen a nutritionist and apparently I'm um, not allergic to what does she say intolerant intolerant, intolerant of gluten which sounds mad, doesn't it? You think, how can you eat bread for 50 years and suddenly be intolerant? Uh, but I am, and apparently it's quite common. And then travel, you know, we've been able to um, travel since I made this. And <laughs> this was my happy place. I just wanted a cottage in the country and, you know, somewhere for all my family to be peaceful. And uh, yeah, we're going to Devon this weekend to look at a house and possibly a new school and stuff like that. So. Who'd have thunk it? I mean, I, we all, we always knew that Mel had a bit of a gift, but she has this way of drilling down and finding out um, what's your heart's desire. So uh, there's my one. And who is that hiding behind the camera? <laughs> ah, shall I, I think what's really hilarious is that on the back you've got a token Floridix liquid iron formula. <laughs> Not quite made it onto the front, yeah, but it's on the back. But that's and it's, it's about health, so that's good. Show us yours. <laughs> I love it. Ladies Hello, and gentlemen, I'm can Ren. I introduce you to Renbian.com? This is my first live, live Facebook stream, so that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Um, but yeah, as Mel was saying, I've been to loads of Mel's um, workshops now. They started off kind of at your home yeah. uh, with a couple of people uh, having various kind of um, stages of life crises and saying, oh, but you know, it's all rubbish. And I think the good thing is that over the years, we've kind of really refined what we all wanted and how we wanted to get there. and. Um, certain things I think that maybe we thought we wanted that we actually didn't really want and so we've let go of a lot of stuff as well and that's a big part of the process I think as well of not just what you do want but what you don't want and the things that maybe are weighing you down and the things that aren't serving you and so letting go and sort of doing all of that kind of work has been I think really important for all of us as well so for me um, my vision boards um, 
which I've kept them all, but we're just in a, in a temporary situation at the moment because we're rebuilding our house at the moment. So I haven't got them all here, but I've got one of them. Um, for me, it was always about keeping everything on one board. So family and work and home. So I've always had that theme running through and on my most recent boards, I've really zoomed in and kind of focused on um, writing a book and uh, getting a book deal, which ha have happened, have come true, have... Round of applause, um, round of applause. Um, and so I've always kind of... Be published next April? Yeah, to, to be published next April. So, it, and I've always had that somewhere, either bookcases or bookshelves or pictures that reflect um, writing, so like writing desks and and cookbooks in particular so I've always had that as an element on on my boards and that's come true so I've just finished my first book um and um the food I even actually Can on I one of my in? I don't last vision boards cut your um, off, there's but... a big element of um honey and wild honey and rye and that I've kind of managed to weave in through the book and into the book title so things as specific as that I think I'd say I've included on my boards before um, that have actually bizarrely come true. Like um, Jamie, you had... Um, I had, yeah, I had lots of Jamie on. Oliver pictures on there once and then I ended up writing for the jamieoliver.com site. Is that my vision board? I think, I don't know. I'll have a look in a minute. It could be in the corner. I'm going to turn That's around really here because the anyway, sun's coming. Um, tell then, the, tell kitchen, this story. So, yeah, I love this so story. This my is dream amazing. Kitchen, uh, and kind of what the ideas that I wanted kind of in, in our new house and even the sort of colour schemes, the windows, the tiles. And, you know, I've li I have been known to take vision boards to um, tile shops recently. So <laughs> they have to look like this. So quite, and everyone's gone, right, okay, what's the rest of it? And, and I've made vision boards specifically with tiles and, and things on them to create a certain, a, a mood board look. But it's not just a mood board, really. It's, it's a vision board in terms of how you want things to, to manifest and happen and really look. So... I think it's important to be really, really specific on what you want, not just kind of, I'd like a nice kitchen. I'd like this kitchen by this designer, um, by this company. And you know, that's that's what I've ended up But tell the story, tell the story. You manifested that very kitchen. I manifested that kitchen. Manifested, that... not just paid for. Yeah, I think, you know, I think, again, a strange thing happened because there's loads of kitchen showrooms that you could go to, but I actually ended up going back to the one that was nearest to my hometown where my parents live, where I grew up, where I went to school. And it was the, the shop that I used to go past every day on the bus when I was at Loretto in Altrigham. And I used to always go past and think, that's the kitchen that I want. And that's kind of where I've ended up getting the kitchen from. So I think, yeah, it's, it's very much a case of kind of... Um, joining the dots as well of things that maybe you've wanted in the past that kind of happen but then making them happen by having these very kind of visual images and keeping them prominent and really really thinking about um how how to make things happen always really like kind of positive quotes they're just brilliant um just have loads of those everywhere um amazing things are going to happen Inga um, is sending me I've lots of hearts so. A little bit of a Polish kitchen oh, yeah. going on here because that's the theme of my book. I've got a big pantry that is actually going to be in my house. Wow. The next Omg! Because I, so I always want pantry a big, envy. This big is pantry porn. Um, Hashtag pantry porn. So yeah, I think it's just really about being very, very specific. And are you um, allowed to say about all your kitchen and how people have just queued up to give you stuff? Well, it's not kind of giving me stuff. I think it's just kind of looking at where I am and where I want to be and then potentially sort of having a space that you want to teach in. So then having more um, support from, say, brands saying, oh, yes, that would be great. You know, we could send you this. I mean, I've had in the past just through blogging, I've had lots of things that I've been fortunate enough to review, like fridges and freezers and crazy things like that. So Vitamixes. Yeah. Oh yeah, Vitamix. That, <laughs> um, so yeah, just part part of what I do and part of kind of being, um, you know, uh, an online writer and blogger means that you know you do kind of get brands that want to work with you, and hopefully that will continue. So that's been. I don't think that's been specific to my vision boarding, but it's very much part of how you know how you get there is not always going to be very obvious and it's yes. not always that I actually I have to go back to law to make the money to do that or that you know we have to do this you know how you get things I think from the universe kind of come from different places and whether that's through kind of working with brands or um, writing or doing this that and the other you know slowly things start to happen so it will appear through the crack of least resistance yeah it's kind of basically don't worry about how it's going to happen just trust in oh. the universe that it will happen perfect message perfect right
flicking back to hello again so um Oh, thank you, Lisa and Ren, for sharing your vision boards. And I'm so, so excited about how bas how basically these things that they've put on paper have manifested or very much on the verge of manifesting. And, um, and the good news is that I've got another vision board course coming up um, on Monday, the 4th of July in Hertfordshire. And Lisa and Ren are both coming because their visions don't end here. It's a continuation. What's next? What's next on your vision board? What else can you, you know, I've, I've accomplished my goals now. What next? So um, that's kind of my message um, today and the message from Lisa. I didn't come here to ask them to do a Facebook Live. It's just kind of just, um, and Ren's just found another one. So I think Ren's just going to add a little bit more here. So let's just back over to Ren. I found another board. Um, this was one of the ones that I did on Mel's um, last biggest course. And again, this is exactly what I was saying about the honey that came true, the bookshelf that came true, the lantern that came true, the kitchen that came true, and the book deal that came true, and the Polish food that came true. And then on the back, I've got my, you know, kitchen that came true. So this was before, when was that vision board workshop? Last March. Just so a over ago. a year ago, mm. yeah, and and in that year, that's amazing. That's isn't it? what's happened. That is amazing. amazing. So, so if you've ever thought about doing one, um, please don't delay. Don't wait till I do my next one next year and think, oh, I wish I'd done one a year ago. Because look at what's happened for Wren in a year, and it's just incredible. And I'm so excited for her because her book is being published next April. And, and I remember four years ago when I first met Ren, she just had just this idea that perhaps, you know, she actually she wasn't even working with Jamie Oliver at that point. I think she stuck some pictures out of a Jamie Oliver magazine on her first board and it's just super incredible. But anyway, I'll post the details in the comments of the Vision Board Workshop. The early bird pricing ends on Friday, so um, I would love to see some Thank of you, you there. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye.